Hello, I am back with some more Amnesia the Dark Descent, and, um, yeah, um, I think this episode we're going to the prison, gonna be nice, gonna meet lots of monsters, gonna be running away, so, the hole is, of course the hole is too narrow slip through, of course. One of the locked prison cells has a, there is a hole in the ground, but it's too small to fit for a man. And let me guess what I'm going to do. Yeah, I kind of guessed as much. Let me turn it down a bit, it's kind of loud. Okay, so I guess we're down here then. Which way do we go? I guess we'll go this way. Never mind. I guess we'll go this way then. Okay, all these rocks out the way. A little bit, anyway. Go. Okay, I need this barrel to get out the way. There we go. How much oil do we got? Uh, okay, not that much. Okay, let's see if we can use this here. No, do I gotta stand directly under it? Okay, guess I can't use that then. Guess I'll go this way. I'm definitely hearing something. Is he safe? Well, it's for his own good. Well, let's go down this way. This way looks nice. Thank you for the tinder box. Um, anything else in here? Oil. Thank you. Need that. I'm not hearing nothing. I didn't have to go in there. Look 
I'm not liking these noises. Okay, that was nothing. Is there anything behind this bed? Anything behind this rock over here? Nothing? Okay. And I guess we're going back out. Well, let's, you know, just stay in here. Read this note. 2nd of August, 1839. I have arrived at the village of Altstadt. It's a haven in the midst of a vast forest and the last stop before my final destination, Castle Brennenburg. It's late in the evening and the outrider, who has been with the coach since Bremen, advised me to wait until morning before I venture further. I've arranged for a bed at Der Müller, the village is only in, and I'm now waiting for the sun to rise. I try to sleep, but as I close my eyes, I see the men who fell victim in London. My fear and shame forces me to witness the same scenes over and over. They are dead because of me. That's a lot of words on the paper just for... Uh... That's a lot of words on the paper, even though it's a big paper with a lot of words on it. Okay, it's safe to go out. Uh, I need something to cover myself with. I'm gonna be discovered. Of course there's a monster out here. Why wouldn't there be? Now it wouldn't be fun, now would it? Well, let's continue to go this way. Let's not go that way where we heard the shaking. Soon we'll be ready. Let there be enough time. A padlock, of course. You know these flashbacks are barely helping my sanity in here.
quarters amount of oil. This situation isn't really looking too good. Of course it won't budge. And it has a padlock. So, how is this good for my sanity? So let's see what we picked up. The gate leading out the area is locked by a worn padlock. Can we do this to it? Probably not. It needs to be weakened further. Okay. You know what that means? We're going back into darkness. Yay. Favorite part of the game. So I haven't been here before. Third of August, eighteen thirty-nine. I feel like I have fled the world and all its worries. Brennenberg is a majestic creation perched upon a forest-clad hill with towers reaching well above even the highest pine trees. Following the winding road leading to the gates gives the impression of discovering something forgotten, as if journeying with Marco Polo to the hidden Xanadu. Alexander, the Baron is a peculiar but gracious man. He seems well versed in worldly matters and is not at all as eccentric as I assumed. My room is exquisite and I'm confident that no hotel for miles could even hope to match it. As the sun sets on Brennenberg, its fairy tale varnish turns to an eerie gloom. Alexander's strange servants are never far away. They are a quiet lot and their behavior could only be described as skulking. Alexander seems pleased by my presence. As he puts it, it seems like I got here just in time. It seems this was note two out of three, huh? Of course, how am I saying it? Oh, oh. <laughs> um, I need light. Can I light this bucket up? Nope. Stay completely quiet. Just ignore the freaking doors outside. Don't come in here. Don't come in my room. No. Of 
And I can't even turn. Oh my god. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I think he needed that. I think you can die from getting too, you know, worked up. And also, I think you make more noise from getting freaked out so the monster can follow you. My sanity is not getting better. I just need to stand here and stare at the fire for a second. I'm hearing something move and I don't like it. Guess I'll go down here then. Looks nice. Oh my gosh. This was the jackpot I needed. Thank you. It also looks like my sanity is getting better. Oh, um, that's nice. Okay. Picked up glass jar. Oh my gosh, I gotta do a puzzle while I'm all screwed up like this. I'm not liking this. Okay, my Sandy's doing better. Let's stay in this area for a little bit. Uh, I need to save my oil. Well, we got tinder boxes. Let's move on. Look, my like my Sandy's doing much better. Let's just back up down these stairs real quick. Um, if I'm correct, I'm hearing what I think I'm hearing.
let's go. Oh, we didn't go this way yet. This way look nice. Got lots of tinder boxes. I don't see why. This way looks important. Doesn't look like a monster goes this way. Yeah, it also looks like a dead end. And my lantern ran out. Well, at least my sanity is doing better. Uh, this place is just like a maze. I think I've already been this way too. Well, let's go the way the monster isn't, and let's go back. Wouldn't that be funny if I just ran to the monster right here? Let's scratch that. I don't want to be running into the monster down here. Is this the tunnel I came from or is this something different? Probably the tunnel I came from. Well, it did have the rocks and the rug. I think this is the tunnel I came from. And I went that way first. Okay, then let's go this way. Of course, it won't budge. Padlock in excellent condition, okay. Guess we're not going this way then. We're going to this way. Okay, one door entrance. Oh, great. Somewhere I can rest. 4th of August, 1839. The nightmares woke me in the early morning. And for a moment, I forgot where I was. Shortly after, there was a knock on my door. Alexander had heard my screams and asked me to join him in the parlor. As we drank our tea, Alexander began to tell me what he knew. It seems like the orb I found casts a long and dark shadow. It's not only a powerful item, but a dangerous one. Simply by touching it, you invoke the powers within. And if you are too weak to control it, it will devour you. The shadow is a sluggish thing, lagging behind the wielder, killing anyone or anything in its path to reclaim the orb. I said I didn't care about its powers, and that I should throw it away. Alexander advised against this, as I'd still be a part of the path to the orb, and eventually suffer death. Having the orb, I would at least have the chance to fight back when the time came. I asked Alexander what he meant when he said he could protect me, and he answered that things can be done, but at a price. 
Oh, this is the dirt out of dirt. No, I didn't notice that. Okay. Hopefully nothing comes up. Of course. You know, Barrel, you're gonna save me. Oh, it's gonna find me. It's gonna find me. It's going to find me. Just don't look at it. Just don't look at it. Great, there's a monster in here the second I try to pick up oil. Isn't that nice? Totally didn't expect that to happen. Now let's see what's over here. Oh. I need the container. Okay, let me use one of these. Okay, let me use the glass jar. And let me check my notes. My notes probably just tell me to get a glass jar. Yeah, the gate leading out of this area is locked by a worn padlock. Wait, no, that's not what I just did. Wait, let me give it some time. Yeah, and then check. It. No. The only thing with the Xbox controller. Oh, they want me to hide back here. Okay. Now there's two monsters. No, three, four. I can't count anymore. My sanity looks like it's doing pretty good. Fortunate enough, I already know where to put this acid.
Uh, I got not a lot of oil. Okay, not the right door, okay. I think I know what door now. And I don't like it because I think the monster's on that side, too. Of course, I run out of oil. Don't think it goes anywhere over here. No, no. Then let's go back out. So close. Do not get caught now. Use the oil. Okay, now use the hammer. Bye! <laughs> The monster just noticed me. I noticed he would have heard. <laughs> Hi, monster. Please stop making that noise. Oh my god. Should I go back out there? I think I... No, I don't think I missed any items. Well, anyway. If you like and enjoyed... This super stealthy ninja parkour and all the super sounds and stuff I was hearing. Sorry there was no commentary, but I was concentrating because whenever you hear a chain sound, that means the monster's nearby. And I was trying to conserve light. It was just really tough. Okay, so it looks like we're in a pretty good area. So in the next episode, when we, um... When we get to the next episode, it looks like we're going to have a good start and we're going to see how it goes wrong. Because what would a game be if nothing went wrong? <laughs> it would just be, hey, I'm a slice of life anime, you know, just everyday life. Well, anyway, bye. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment. Please. 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 Please.